Yes! Brilliant, bloody brilliant! Hey, Tommy! Glad you could make it. Hey, you ever met Love Fist before? No, I haven't, but I've always loved your music. Let me introduce you to the band. This is Per Percy, Dick, and Willie's in the Kazi, and that was Jez in the booth earlier. And guys, I want you to meet a good friend of mine. This is Tommy. We go way back. Hey, pal. And, uh, what was your name again? <laughs> Jez, you remember. Love Don't be playing them games with me, Ginger. mate. I'm too crafty for that sunshine. English. Good See, one the, in the, the thing is, Tom, mental. the boys totally need some help. They ain't too connected here. They don't have the old ass, totally your father. Bad. We need some drugs, pal! Gonna get on the old <laughs> love yeah, fish, yeah, nice beauty, yeah. you know? Yeah! Well, this is Vice City, man. What's the problem? Love juice, man. We need love juice, man, gang. Love juice? Aye, two parts boom shine, one part trumpet, five fizz bombs, and a litre of petrol. Can you help us out, pal? Oh, we really mean a lot You can do boys. that for the boys, right? It's hair for the future, not the past. When you have great hair... Looking for something special? I got what you need. Thanks for the money, sucker. Dilated pupils, paranoia, heart palpitations, and nosebleeds. This is Kate Shot. Welcome back to the show. I'm Amy Schechenhausen, and next up, we're going to be interviewing someone... Just the girl. You can pass, okay? Now it says here you wanted to be a man I so much, you. you dressed up like one. Well, that's a little crap, my dear. More misogynistic propaganda. I hate men, can't bear them. I think they're a complete waste of time in space, quite frankly, and a disaster for the planet. Me too. I just got dumped. Oh, well, it is unfortunate you measure your self-worth in relation to a man, my dear. Look at you. You could be an attractive girl if you did some visible labor, cut your hair short, grew out your body hair, and wore boots, for example. You mustn't get sucked into their heteropatriarchy. But I like dating. Having someone buy you dinner is great. Well, we'll come back to you and your problems, accepting who you really are. Let's talk about me a bit. Okay. So, tell me about your book. You hate men a lot. And you dressed up like one. And now you've written a book about it, right? More or less. As I said, I'm very intelligent, so I don't expect you to understand, my dear, but I'll try to keep it simple. I've always been fascinated with the world of men. Revolted, of course, but fascinated. Now, as an academic, I can get paid to write a book about pretty much anything, as long as I give it a complicated title. Are you with me, gorgeous? Ooh, I think so. Good. Then hold my... Sensual woodcuts in the student comments. It makes me so angry! Where was I? You were talking about yourself? Oh, of course. The ego is a dangerous thing, especially in my case. I'm a young man. Anyway, so what I did was dress up like a man and enter into the man world. I can tell you it was more... Hey, Mercedes. Hiya, Tommy. And how are you? you do? Just fine. Well, Listen, the first you fancy having love fist? These okay. Spend all but just as a favor, I expect that. return. I was expected to sit around and talk about what I had done to win it. Of course, I had to, so as not to blow my cover. So what's the name of your book? Yes, as mentioned hitherto, my book has a very, very obtuse title. Being and Singing. From Freud to the Building Sites, A Woman's Journey into the Male Psyche. Huh? What? I'll admit it's not very catchy, but academia is not about getting to the point. It's about exploration. Okay. Wow, I'm learning a lot today. Yeah, so I entered the world of men. In disguise, of course. I was dressed like a man. Okay, and you haven't changed back? What? 
What did you say? You're still dressed like a man. No, I'm not. These are my normal clothes. Amy, for God's sake, don't fall prey to the Patriarchy's evil fashion schemes! Oh, sorry. Anyway, I learned a lot when I was a man. Did you know, for example, that during my time as a steel worker in Pittsburgh, I learned that men sometimes speak crudely about women when they are out of earshot? I was horrified! Or that men regard some women, like you, Amy, as mere sex toys, things for their amusement. Unbelievable! Or that men actually find sports interesting. It's appalling. And they run the world, my pretty. Oh, yes, they run the world. They do? Yeah. Look at Reagan. Look at Thatcher. Look at Gorbachev. While we stay home and bake cookies. Oh, screw that, sweetheart. I see you later, big boy. Don't bake a cookie. Smash him in the face with a baking tray instead. He's a brainless dolt. He's a man. Did you know men in... I think you spelled it wrong. Are you...